Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a full cycle video. Today we're going to be washing some cleaning rags. And this time we're going to be doing something a bit special. I got a request some time ago to do, I believe it was the normal cycle with steam, uh, but a steam cycle nonetheless. It's all essentially going to be the same, plus whatever the rest of the cycle is. So for the sake of time, I'm going to do the normal cycle. We're going to do steam, which as you see brings it from warm to hot, and from normal to extra heavy. Now, something interesting about this is that extra heavy without, without steam and without a rinse is actually longer than it with steam, which is just really odd. I don't understand the reasoning behind that, but whatever. Let me just, let me just reset this real quick. I'm also going to do super speed which as you see takes off about 16 minutes at the time. I've never ever ran the machine with steam and super speed together, but I figured that would be an interesting thing to show here, especially since steam for the most part is just it's sitting. Because I have seen that and I honestly thought that'd be kind of boring to just sh to show you guys that. So I want to see how it behaves with super speed and steam together. Excuse me, we got our stuff loaded, doors closed. Cycle programmed, got our detergent and our vinegar fabric softener in there. So let's begin. And the dryer will be on for 49 more minutes because it's drying a blanket right now. You know what we say about time efficiency, right? We like it. That'll be on in the background for the majority of the cycle here. Um, I'm gonna get my lighting situated. Just give me a second to get all that going because that does take some time. We will get that in order for you. Right now it's just gonna begin by doing its usual sensing routine as it always does. every slight bit of elevation to our flashlight. Usually I like to have three full-size bounce dryer sheet boxes, but this time we only have like two and a quarter. So we'll have to make do. All right, so after sensing, it is going to be doing this for four, it's going to be running a 54 minute cycle. So yeah. Let me just double check to see what the lighting looks like if I were to do, turn off the uh, room lights. Is that gonna help or hurt us? Honestly, I think it's gonna help us. So that's what we're gonna do. So we still got a decent amount of daylight outside. A bit cloudy, but Got some blue in there too. All right. So right now we should be filling up with hot water for the steam. And I believe right now at the same time, we are also going to uh, be seeing, well, we're, we're kind of seeing it already, some fogging up on the uh, window. Thankfully, it doesn't look like it's too visible on the camera right now, um, but it is definitely visible in person from my point of view. And that's one thing I was a bit concerned about with doing the steam cycle is the fact that we are going to have to deal with the fogginess of the glass, so it's not going to be the best view of the cycle. But I think since I'm doing the normal cycle, and normal uses the coldest hot water, if that makes any sense, then um, then I think we'll, we'll be fine. And what I mean by coldest hot water is um, in the manual, I forget exactly where, but it stated something about how the normal cycle, the, and I believe maybe even the delicate cycle as well, but I think just normal. 
um, uses water that I think they said it'd be most similar to bath water. You know, oh, I've made it right behind me. Let me see if I can figure out what I was talking about here. Uh, I believe we're gonna have to go to the operations section where we get a description of the cycles and settings. Let me see if I can find that chart. I don't know, maybe it's, is it in operations or is it gonna be in the, well, that's installation. That's before you start. I don't believe it's gonna be in before you start. No, that's not in before you start. So, let's see. Love flipping through the manual. It's my favorite book. Samsung Flex Wash Owner's Manual. Let's see, it's not in operations either? Or did I skip it? Perhaps it is in troubleshooting? Don't worry, guys. I will find it. Okay, this is something really annoying I just want to mention about the dryer. Do you hear that motor whirring? Yeah, I've never heard any other dryer with a motor that loud, other than this one. Now, I mean, it's been doing this as long as we've owned it, and it's still been working. But something tells me that perhaps it shouldn't be this loud. I don't know, if you guys can kind of tell, and you know anything that might be able to help with that. Um, that would be great. If not, then, I mean, we can always just deal with it. We've dealt with it all the way up to now. We can continue dealing with it. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, in the specification section, which I believe is where we're going to find this, which is on page 76, um, it says that the wash water temperature must be a minimum of 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius for detergent activation and effective cleaning. So I guess that's the science behind the detergents. Are we getting good light? That's about the same. I thought maybe we were getting a little darker, but that doesn't look to be the case anymore. I don't know. I'll keep looking though for what I meant to, to uh, what I meant to find here. I believe it's in the specifications section. Oh man, where did 
did I see that? found it yet, but on page 77 it says that the washer was manufactured from recyclable materials. So that's interesting. It's gotta just be the plastics that make it recyclable. Though, I mean, this has gotta be a plastic outer casing. There's no way that's metal. feels too plasticky to me. Where did I find that? Maybe was it in the troubleshooting? With the temperature of the water? If you look at the error codes for... Water being supplied at too high of a temperature. still in the wash phase right now with 42 minutes remaining so I'm not a hundred percent sure what this is all about and why we're stopping right now and I still haven't been able to find what I was talking about earlier
Okay, I wonder if we're filling for the steam now. Fix the blanket real quick because it's rolled up. And that's not how blankets get dry. That's one thing about drying blankets is that they do tend to roll up sometimes when they're trying to dry, which is less than ideal. I'm just feeling the blanket right now. We got 35 minutes left on here. I don't think it's gonna need all that time. Can I lower the time? I can. All right, let's put it for 20 more minutes. We'll check it after that, so. Just took like 15 minutes off its drying time. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely doing the steaming process right now. Like I said, where it's essentially just doing short little tumbles like that, but with the heater steaming up. Although it's not getting as foggy as I thought it would. Interesting. Anyway, back to my research. Let's see what I can find here. Next up, I'm going to try looking in the operations section because maybe it discussed that when it comes time to programming the machine. You know, that would make sense to put that there. Okay, I finally found it. So under operations on page 55 under the ATC or auto temperature control section, it says um, there's two bullet points. Um, I'll actually just read the entire section for you. So this is a word for word uh, from Samsung's manual here. Um, this is me quoting what they said here. ATC enables the washer to control water temperatures in each washing cycle using the washer's internal thermistor. It is designed to maintain certain washing temperatures for best results. If you select normal or heavy duty, you may notice the washer supplying cold water. This is normal because the washer is designed to reduce power consumption. In these cycles, the hot temperature is similar to bath water temperatures and the warm temperature to comfortable swimming pool temperatures. So there you go. Oh, and then the last bullet point here, because those were the last two. Uh, last, final third bullet point here is uh, to wash laundry at a specific temperature, you must choose a different cycle first. So, yeah, when using normal or heavy duty, I'm surprised they do that in heavy duty, um, the warm water, they say, or the hot water is similar to bath water temperatures, and then the warm water to comfortable swimming pool temperatures. So, it goes against 
what it said initially. Um, or not initially. Uh, it, it later says in the specifications section about the um, water, like the warm water temperature being like the 90 degrees Fahrenheit range or something like that, which is not something that people swim in. You don't swim in 95 degree water. I don't know what most pools are usually kept at temperature wise. I'd imagine in the 70s. But even that might be a bit cold. I don't know. I think 80 degrees is a bit hot for a pool, but that could just be me. I really don't know. So. But yeah. Like I said, I'm a bit surprised to do that for heavy duty though, because with heavy duty, I'd imagine that people would use that cycle to get rid of like tough stains. And you would think bath water temperature would be a bit too cold for that, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a temperature enthusiast. But, so we finally found that. So yes, now you know that they do, cons they do compare that to bath water and the warm to swimming pool temperatures, which I have noticed that actually because the normal cycle default setting is warm for temperature, and so is the bedding cycle. But I've noticed that on the bedding cycle, I've watched it fill a few times, and you can see steam rising from the water. Which I suppose, if it's wash temperature is supposed to be like 95 degrees, and it's gonna be mixing with hot and cold temp, uh, like alternating between hot and cold to fill, if it's pumping with hot water from the water heater, which is gonna be over 100 degrees, probably over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, I believe is what my water heater supplies, or is set to supply, then that would make total sense. I'd be getting some steam. And then in the normal cycle, obviously when you go to a pool, it's not steaming. Or if it is, then I advise you get out of that pool and don't swim in that pool again. But yeah, it doesn't steam up when filling for the normal cycle with the, with the default temperature setting, but it does with the bedding, even though they're both set to warm. So, all right, we finally got to the bottom of that, 23 minutes into the video. We are still in the wash phase, steaming right now with 33 minutes remaining. We haven't seen a lot of super speedy stuff yet. Um, I mean, I think the recirculation pump has been going on for longer than it usually does, but I'm not sure. We'll probably see more of that when we get to the rinse and the spin. Oh, also, did you guys notice how the dryer stopped making that really loud whirring sound after I paused it? If you go back to the beginning of the video, you'll notice that it was much louder when I mentioned that. So... Put the manual back. We'll see if it does that again. I doubt it. Well, actually, no, I should say I don't. I doubt it because... Honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if it did it again. But we'll see. have you guys facing down because that's not the best view but if you look up there's not really a lot of steaminess going on at the window so yeah um, leave it at about there probably for the duration of the cycle. 
because of the rinse and the spin and everything. You know, I do wonder how much quieter this dryer would be if it were an electric dryer. I bet it would be much quieter. Seven minutes remaining on the cycle at this time, still in the wash phase.
Ah, okay, so now, with 21 minutes remaining, we are moving on to the rinse. And it decides to recirculate now for some reason. <laughs> I notice it always does it on like the, the super speed cycles. It always gets like super excited to do the recirculation uh, thing. All right, looks like we're going into an intermediate spin. You can kind of see like up here-ish. We started getting some steam, um, but it really wasn't anything crazy. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Oh, okay, no intermediate spin. We're just going straight to the first rinse. Oh, and the dryer's done. Lovely. I'm told that it's actually done, though, and not just thinking it's done, if you get what I mean. All right, there's our super speedness right there. The spray rinse and the recirculation. That is what we like to see, people. That is what we like to see. spinning right there. Alright, let's check. Oh, okay. Rinse one is done. Three minutes later. Alright. Let's check the blankets. See if it's dry. Oh, well, we rolled up again. I've been watching, oh, no, we're not dry. We are not dry. Didn't think it rolled up as much as it did. Middle is still wet. All right, so let's see. We're probably gonna need another. I feel like half an hour. But that might be a bit overkill. You know what? We'll do 25 minutes. Why not? Because that is not done yet. Well, let me test something real quick. Yep, that's causing it. So something very interesting uh, that I'm noticing here as we're going into the spin, and th this makes total sense, is that um, right now I'm in the laundry room, obviously, and the door is closed. So from the floor, you can feel the dry, like the air that the dryer is sucking in to dry like from the inside of the house and to blow it outside. You can feel that air. It's very interesting. It's almost like a fan because this is a small laundry room and a big dryer. So it's taking up a lot of, I don't wanna say space, but it's pulling in a lot of air because of the negative air pressure in the room. that brighten it up a little bit, shaking it? I think so. Oh, you know, one thing I did realize, though, is that I did not set this to extra high like I um, usually do. So it's just going to be at the high spin speed for the final spin. I'm watching this blanket right now, and I think we're starting to roll up again. Man, this is annoying. I'm glad that I'm actually here to watch it, though. 
It did uncoil itself one time, so I'll give it a chance to do that before I, um, before I interrupt it. It's only been going for a couple minutes now. Are we gonna get any spray rinse action here during the spin or no? Maybe not for this intermediate spin, but I'm sure we're gonna get it for the final spin. Let's see, so that's kind of weird. It just kind of like de-steamed itself just now with the window. All right, now we're filling for the final rinse. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. When's the spray rinse gonna come in? Come on, we want the triple action here. There's the spray rinse and the recirculation. There it is. All right, well, that was very short-lived, but let's give it another chance. All right, spray rinse is gonna be happening now, no. Recirculation first and then spray rinse, okay. So that's how we're gonna do it today. Spray rinse is still on. Now it's off again. I think I gotta start changing the batteries on this flashlight. All right, recirculation, spray rinse. Very nice. Recirculation, spray rinse, there we, is it on? Yeah, it is. And it's even kind of dark to the point where I can't even really tell. But you guys are looking straight on, so it's probably a bit easier for you guys to tell. I don't know, I can tell when the recirculation is on, because I can also see that nozzle from my view, but I'm just relying on the water itself for that one, or for the spray rinse. That's something I'll never understand with the spray rinse is that, oh, look at all that water in there. When it stops, you guys will see. There was a decent amount of water in there. Look at all that water. Not a bad amount. I definitely thought it was going to use less. Especially considering there's not really much in this load. Okay, well, I shouldn't be saying that, but... Alright, blanket is burritoing itself again, as it usually likes to. Oh, come on! Stop burritoing yourself up and just dry already. Dryer's so hot, man. It's like... I just don't understand how this thing is not getting dry. This drum is too hot even for me to touch. Like, that's how bad it is. All right, so now we're at nine minutes remaining, draining for the final spin on the washer. And where I thought the dryer was gonna be done before the washer, that's not gonna be the case. At least I don't think. I just hope it doesn't burrito itself up again, and then maybe we stand a chance of it being done by the time that the washer's done. I'll just end the cycle prematurely on the dryer. And we'll take it from there. But for now, we are gonna be preparing for the final spin. Which again, this time is going to be at the high spin speed, which I honestly don't remember whether or not I've showed this, uh, the high spin speed. I know I've done extra high numerous times, because that's the one that I almost always do on, um, on the, these videos, but I don't think I've ever done high before. 
So, regardless of whether or not I've done it, here's your, ch here's your uh, chance to see it. Alright, come on, this has got to be it. Yeah, I think so. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. That totally could have worked. Whoa, okay, look at that one that's just... <laughs> oh, man, I think that just ruined it, though. There's no way. If it didn't do that last one, there's no way it's doing this one. It's always really funny when there's like one piece of, uh, like one garment or one thing that like doesn't catch on right away, so it just kind of spins like that. That's always really fascinating. Are we gonna get anything this time? Come on. How the heck did it do this one and not the other one? Maybe it just wanted to put on a show for us with the, that rag. There's a spray rinse to clear the view for us. That was a very short spray rinse. Hopefully it won't be the last. You gotta love the spray rinse. Well, it's probably gonna do it again once it, um, it's gonna do that thing where it like speeds up for a bit and then it's gonna slow down again and then gradually speed back up. We're probably gonna get a, a few spray rinses, I'd imagine, during that final speed up. But right now we're at six minutes left. Blanket so far is not. doing too much. It might start again, though. Oh, wait, are we not doing the slowdown thing? Oh, maybe it, do maybe it doesn't do that because of super speed. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, so now the spray rinse cleared up the view better for us. never get the perfect lighting on this. Let me see if maybe we bring it up a bit and face the camera a bit down. I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a better view. That's what I meant to say there, but it just came out as gibberish. What? With four minutes remaining, we're already slowing down. So we're gonna go from four to one minute here. Well, that was the high spin speed. It doesn't look like it stayed at that for a very long period of time though. So that's a little unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. Since it's the normal cycle, it's not gonna do a release tumble. I'm gonna pause the dryer for when the song comes on.
Okay, so that's that's what happens when you get the normal cycle on super speed and steam. Uh, so it was pretty similar to what I observed happening with the steam cycle um, during the wash. It just doesn't do it for nearly as long in super speed. Um, and then, of course, we have the super speed spray rinse procedure, which, you know, of course, you got to love. And we ended the cycle rather early with only 51 minutes uh, on the video time, even though it predicted 54 minutes total. So the cycle time total here was probably about 50 minutes because there was a minute beforehand um, that we were doing stuff before I actually started the machine. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay cool, everybody. Thank you.